guys, welcome back to Cooking with Mimi and today I have a very special video for you guys with a special guest. You've seen her before, my lovely sister. So today on Cooking with Mimi, we're going to make, we're doing so, French macarons, but tiramisu flavor. Yes, we're going to make tiramisu French macarons. So let's get started. Now, everybody knows the most important part of a tiramisu is the filling. So this is what we're going to um, do. It's going to be a shortcut. It's not going to be the whole egg yolk thing. Um, so here I have 3 4 cups of heavy whipping cream, 1 cup of mascarpone cheese. I'm going to use a tablespoon of a coffee liqueur and 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. And also I'm going to use 2 tablespoons of sugar. Now I'm going to add in my heavy whipping cream and whip it till I get soft peaks. So I'm going to start with medium. And once it starts building up volume, I'm going to go a little bit higher. It's going to take a little while to whip. Now I have like soft peaks. So now I'm going to put it down to low. My sugar, my two tablespoons of sugar. Put it a little bit higher. Then I'm going to add my teaspoon of vanilla. So it's almost to the stiff peak stage. I'm gonna turn it back on and add my tablespoon of coffee liqueur. Oops, now I'm at the stiff peak stage. Now I'm going to add my mascarpone, mascarpone cheese. So whip on low. And bring it to medium. Perfect, and that's it. to take my filling, transfer it to a bowl, and set it aside in the fridge while I start on my next steps. Now we're going to get started with the ganache. We are going to add one cup of heavy cream to one cup of milk chocolate chips and one cup of espresso chocolate chips. It's like the espresso chocolate morsels. If you can't find those, um, Using regular milk chocolate chips, two cups of that is perfectly fine. And then we're going to pop that in the microwave for about two minutes. And we're going to let it sit for five minutes. And after five minutes, we're going to stir it and then set that aside. 
Guys, it's very important that after you take it out of the microwave, you cover it with a plastic wrap to trap in the heat. And then you let it sit uh, for five minutes. Then once it's been sitting for five minutes, you will stir it and get that nice glossy ganache um, you're looking for. Now we're going to stir the chocolate, the ganache. Okay guys, this is exactly the consistency you're looking for. As you can see, it's nice and glossy. And you're going to put this aside and let it set for a while. And while that's setting, we're going to get started on the macaron shells. So now I'm going to show you guys the ingredients I'm going to use for the macaron shells. Here I have 300 grams of almond flour and 300 grams of powdered sugar sifted three times here I have 300 grams of caster sugar 75 grams of water two tablespoons of instant espresso powder here I have 220 grams of egg whites separated in half so in each bowl there is 110 grams of egg whites Okay, these egg whites, they were sat out for like two hours because it's easier and better when it's mixed. You'll get better stiff peak. So out of the 75 grams of water, you're going to take two teaspoons of that and then put it into your instant espresso. Mix that in. Set that aside for later. So now I have my almond flour and the powdered sugar and to that I'm going to add my 110 grams of egg whites. But first you would want to create a well and then fold that egg white in till it creates a paste. Okay, now we're going to create that well in the middle. Fold it in. So that's our paste. Um, this is what you're looking for. We're going to set that aside um, for now while we get started on our meringue. Okay guys, the next step is to making the sugar syrup for the meringue for the uh, macarons. So you're going to have your water and your sugar have your heat on low and what you guys need to look out for once it gets to once the sugar syrup gets to 115 degrees Fahrenheit you want to pour in your 110 grams of egg whites and start whipping it and you are going to check on your sugar syrup and make sure it gets to 118 degrees 
As soon as it gets to 118 degrees, that's when you're going to take it off the stove and start slowly pouring it into your egg white. Now I'm going to add in my caster sugar and the water. Give it a quick stir. And next you're going to take a little bit of water in a brush and make sure you wipe down the sides of the pot so the sugar doesn't crystallize. And you want to do that occasionally. I'm going to put my candy thermometer in and let it do its thing. Now we're going to whip our egg whites. so everything is nicely incorporated get all those flavors in and then I'm going to continue to mix it for about three to five minutes and I'll see you then so guys this is what you guys are looking for nice and stiff peak and you should be able to turn it over without it falling over and then you're going to get your almond flour batter and start gently folding the meringue in. Okay, you guys are going to take a spatula full at, at a time at first. And then go down the middle once, come around, go down the middle twice, come around. And this part is very important, guys, because you don't want to lose that air in the meringue.
perfect. Now we're going to transfer this over into a piping bag and we're going to move on to the next step. Okay guys, now we're going to pipe the macarons. You want them pretty far apart. Perfect. Now we're going to give it a tap. And what this does is get rid of all of the air bubbles. Okay. Now we're going to sprinkle some instant coffee on top. Let's make it look nice. And then we're going to set it aside for 30 minutes just until it gets that nice soft shell on top before popping them in the oven. Alright guys, so after my macarons has set for 30 minutes, I put it in the oven for 12 minutes and 320 degrees. In the middle rack is very important to make sure um, your oven doesn't get too hot, otherwise it'll go flat. After the macarons comes out of the oven, don't touch it. Let it rest for 30 minutes and cool down. Um, cool down. Let it rest and cool down for 30 minutes. After my macarons had cooled down, this is what it looks like. All right, guys. So this is how you want your macarons to look. So this is the bottom. Nice and smooth and this is my top nice and glossy look how beautiful this is guys exactly what you want now I'm going to get my mascarpone filling and my ganache filling and um, start piping alright guys so here's a close up and I'm gonna show you how I pipe it so this is my mascarpone filling here I have a star tip, and I'm just going to pipe around the edges. And then add my ganache filling in the middle. It's a little drippy, so... Like so, and then I'm gonna add my top, and there you have it. All right, guys, this concludes our video of the tiramisu macarons, and it was an experience making it for the first time. But I think overall it came out pretty good. Some came out different shapes and sizes. <laughs> but <laughs> Lord's laughing at me. They still came out pretty good. Okay? I just want to thank you guys for watching my channel and the support is amazing. And let me know what you would like me to make down in the comment below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But before we go, Lori's gonna try one of the macarons. Guys, this is literally unbelievable. Like, <laughs> I 
I don't think I can stop eating. Mmm, <laughs> see that? Wow. You outdid yourself this time, sis.